What's up, Citrons producers, and welcome to a new tutorial on my channel. Yeah, this one will be about how to phase align kick and bass with stock plugins only. So no third party plugins needed like SciScope or anything alike. Um, yeah, and the trick is to do it with Edison. As some of you maybe know, Edison displays left and right panning in different colors. So we have this example here. Um, and you clearly can see this white or grayish stuff and this uh, red or pink stuff. Um, and yeah, everything that is white means it's played on the right speaker. And everything that is uh, displayed red is on the left speaker. So if I play it, you should clearly hear that um, uh, it is first is on the right and then is on the left. Increase the pause so you can hear it better. You can also see it uh, the bottom left um, on the on the current channel. Left, uh, right, and a left. Yeah, um, and we will be using this uh, color separation and this waveform separation to phase align our kick and bass. It won't work um, like uh, if you do it with scope plugins so that you loop your kick and your bass and um, just play around with the knob until your phase is aligned. It's rather a trial and error, error thing, but it is better than nothing. So um, at first you'll have to load your Edison to a mixer track where both kick and bass are linked. So master channel would absolutely work, um, but I'll be using this drum overall channel where my kick goes into and also my bass goes into. Um, yep, yeah, I'll have Edison here. And what you want to do now is that you uh, put e your kick either to the left or the right, like 100% left panning or 100% right panning and the uh, opposite with the bass. So if you put your kick on the left, you put your bass, of course, on the right. The next thing is uh, just hit record and play a loop or play an excerpt so that you can see the waveform. Um, zooming in now. So this is the part that is uh, that we are going to align um, since kick and bass are interfering here. For those of you who aren't familiar to this, um, alignment works like this, that if your bass goes up, like the bass waveform goes uh, above zero, the kick um, the, ki the kick waveform has to go above zero at the same time. The requirement for this is of course that your kick and your bass have the same first harmonic, like in this case it should be F1 don't know the frequency, you can Google that up. Um, so yeah, basically this point, like this zero crossing has to fit with something here or better, the zero crossing where it goes down has to fit like here. So I'd say it's roughly 180 degrees. Um, and yeah, now you will just have to phase a line and or change your face and see if it's if it becomes better. Um, most of you will probably phase align the, uh, the bass since they are using kick samples. Uh, my kick is from a synthesizer and for me it's easier to align, uh, align the um, kick face. And yeah, I'll turn it up to 50%, which means 180 degrees. And I record it again. So it's definitely gotten better, but not perfect. Like this point here has to be exactly here. Um, I'll turn it a little bit further, maybe 53%. Not, not a great difference, 55%. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're definitely getting closer, 58%. Yeah, that should be a debut. That should be about it. So now it's nearly perfectly aligned and with this method you won't get it like a hundred percent. But this will be close enough and um won't be really necessary to uh do it any any more accurate. So there is maybe minimal offset and um it does not matter that much. Um, yeah, so now you're kicking your bases face aligned. And uh, at the end, of course, you will have to put your kick in your base to mono again. This. Yep. Um, and to show you that it has worked, I have prepared a size scope channel. Um, where I'll show you again that it is aligned. So now playing nothing and kick and bass comes in. You see it's basically almost aligned. Maybe you should go another percent up, maybe not. As you see, it's uh, trial and error. So yeah, this is it for this time. I hope you learned something. I hope you gathered some information. Um, and yeah, if you like this and don't want to miss out any further tutorials, I'd advise you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, also, I recently created a an Instagram account and I'd really appreciate if you follow me there. So yeah, um, I'll see you next time and bye.